Let me tell you about my trip to Germany. I was asked to go to Germany for a camera launch by my job at B&H, and yes, this meant we were going to Leica. I've never been to Germany, so I was really excited to explore, and I even got to take some extra time to visit Austria before returning home. But before all that, we first had to get there, and after running late for my flight, I wasn't exactly off to a great start. Which leads me to my next point, why am I releasing this sort of vlog style video on this channel, which is traditionally overlanding and camping. Um, the reason being was I took a recent trip to Dominican Republic for work. We were doing a whole video series shoot and there were multiple times on that trip and previous trips where I was like, I wish I had this documented in just a straightforward talking to camera way where I'm just filming what's happening around me and just as a way to, to really remember all of this because my memory is, you know, not the best in the world, <laughs> but truly as uncomfortable as I am kind of getting in front of a camera like this, uh, doing a more vlog style doesn't really come naturally to probably anyone, but, and it doesn't mean that this channel is going to be only these sorts of vlogs or I'm traveling internationally. I will of course still have my camping videos and I have a lot of camping videos planned and I'll have some gear videos that are coming as well. So there's still gonna be plenty of that. But anyways, like I said, I'm already really late. So let's get going to the airport. First time filming in public, it's this way. <laughs> I met up with my coworker Jorge at the airport. Yeah, say hello. And we waited in the very hot terminal. A duty free item. You are highly requested to pick up your items at gate 63. Is that Thank German? Cuisine? Of course it is. We finally boarded, and can I just say that we really enjoyed this Lufthansa flight. How you doing? Oh, did I pass it? I'm right here. All right, check this out. We got sick seats right here, right, Jorge? We even have a pillow. We got a pillow, blanket, a toothbrush. I'm gonna brush my teeth just for fun. Ready to fly right now and a beautiful sunset. Check this out. All right, I just took a Tylenol PM and uh, I think this is goodbye. I'm hopefully gonna sleep for the next six hours. And uh, if I don't, then I'm kind of screwed because we've got work to do tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs> Someone is smoking in the bathroom. I have to pee, but I can't pee now because someone's smoking and the alarms are going off. I'm pretty sure that's a federal offense. Someone's going to be in deep trouble. I didn't really get any sleep on the flight over, but to be honest, I still very much enjoyed the flight and at least tried to rest. Either way, I was stoked when we finally arrived. That's it, baby. We're in Frankfurt. Take care. Made it to Germany. Didn't get much sleep, but... Uh, <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe one day. Can I, just sell I have to pretend like the camera isn't there. Okay. You're not there. It's been 10 minutes, we're already lost. We found the meeting point. There it is. When we got to the hotel, we greeted some folks from Leica, and we had about an hour before we would hit the ground running with filming. And I was exhausted. And just like that, we are at Leica. We're staying at the Ernst Lights Hotel, which is the hotel at Leica. And Ernst Lights was the founder of Leica. And the hotel's kind of tricked out with a bunch of Leica memorabilia and designs here and there. So it's really cool. It's like a photographer's playground. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I am very tired, so I'm going to jump in the shower and hopefully take a nap, and I'll see you guys perhaps outside in a little bit, because it's a beautiful day in Wetzlar. 
I don't know who I was kidding with that nap idea. I've never been much of a napper. We spent the rest of the day filming A-Roll for our video, and then we got to take a peek at both the Leica archives and the Leica museum. We're just about ready to get started filming here at Leica. Just stopped raining, just in time. Got some even overcast skies. Perfect for filming, Jorge's on the gimbal with the teleprompter because your boy cannot remember his lines for you know what. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah. This is like Harry Potter, the moving staircases. It's not, it's not quick enough. That's it. Somebody's gonna throw up or fly off. If the TikTokers find out about this, they'll go crazy for it. Check one, check two. Good. I don't know how to do this. This is where aberrations are corrected, wrong. This is where aberrations are corrected, wrong. This is where light is finally focused, correct. I'm not very good at this game. Are you doing something like... Day two was the camera launch day of the SL3. So we started off with some much needed coffee at Cafe Lights, which is the on-site coffee shop at Leica. That same day, we went to the National Low Collection Auto Museum to take some pics of some insanely cool cars. Hello. Day three was probably my favorite day. We got to photograph an in-studio session with a model. Being in Wetzlar, we knew we really wanted to check out the downtown village area, so we asked the hotel to arrange a taxi. And when they arrived, they spoke very little, actually they spoke no English, primarily German. So we were kind of doing a game of charades. All that to say, exploring Wetzlar was definitely a highlight. Our last day, I was so sad to be leaving Leica, but still had the next leg of my trip ahead in Austria. Bye, Leica. We had a damn good time. A little longer. <laughs> I gotta look out the window like a music video. I'm so sad. Yeah. And that was my trip to Wetzlar, Germany. Tune in to the next episode as I solo travel to Austria, and it was just an incredible experience. Anyways, I'll see you all out there on the road.